Hi everybody, it's Amanda back with Amanda Rose Tarot and we're here today to do another pick a card reading. So this particular reading is going to be how are they feeling right now? So things change, you know, the last reading that I had of how they feel, um, you know, that was about a week ago, I'm thinking. So things can definitely change. So this is for um, right now. So whenever you're watching this, this should resonate with you. If it doesn't, then go check one of my other readings with a similar title and one of those may resonate with you. The cards that we're using today are one card from the Messenger Oracle, a few cards from the Gilded Deck, and then a couple cards from the Gypsy Witch uh, Lenormand deck. So uh, I will be reading those as playing cards, as Lenormand cards, and tarot cards. So we'll have a lot of information just from those particular cards. The icons that I have today, the first reading is For You a Dream, and it has this glittery moon and cloud on it. The second reading is this pink flower that my six-year-old cut out. And then the third reading is this heart that my daughter made. It says, I love my mom. So those are the icons that you have to choose from today. Just pause it if you need time to meditate on which one you're drawn towards. You can always use a pendulum. Uh, if you don't have a pendulum, you can just use a necklace, um, whatever, you know, however you do it. If you just go by numbers, then choose either reading one, two, or three. So I'm going to be quiet now and let you guys focus on which pile you're drawn towards, and then we'll see how they feel right now. Okay, so if you chose the first reading, this is for you a dream. Let's put this, okay, I can move these all down here. All right, so you've got the scythe, which is a cutting tool. We've got the Cupid card. And this one is the Ten of Pentacles. And this one is the Queen of Swords. We've got the Chariot card, so Cancer. We've also got Air Signs. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. And the last card that you have is Show That You Care, card number 42. So 42 could resonate um, with you in some way. All right. So as far as how this person is feeling, I feel like this person feels like um, there has been sort of some sort of break. There has been some um, cutting off of energy. So maybe it's you pulled back their energy or they've pulled back their energy in some way. That's what I get from the scythe. But... Um, also, this is the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles is about um, prosperity, abundance. Um, so it can be that um, maybe you're focused a lot right now on your finances. Um, maybe you're worried about your finances. You want more progress when it comes to, um, you know, your job, your finances, um, you feel like you're working hard, but uh, you're not getting any, anything from it. So um, although, you know, you, you have been able to be self-sufficient, I feel like you feel like um, you want to get caught up on, on bills. You want to not have to worry about bills. You want to be able to relax. I feel like you want to have this abundance so that you can have this leisurely time where you can be comfortable and not be so stressed all the time and maybe indulge, do some things that you've wanted to do 
and so maybe um, while you and this person have kind of cut off the commitment um, maybe that's what you each individually are focusing on with the Cupid here I really don't feel like um, the love has been lost I still feel that there's a strong connection between you guys and it could be that you know um, even if you guys have cut off the energy between each other you still can feel that love between you guys you guys still have that affection for each other um, I feel like this person really adores you and it's like they've been hit with Cupid's arrow so they're definitely still feeling the love but uh, I think they're they're challenged right now as far as financially they they want to focus on that with the chariot card I think this person um, they're they're hoping to over overcome obstacles I think they're feeling like um, you know if you have been in the driver's seat maybe you're the one that's been making the moves maybe you're the one that's been the assertive one and I feel like um, now you're kind of distracted from the path like you're you're not sure if this is something you should go forward with I think you know you were in the driver's seat you were the one with the power and it's like you were moving forward with this person um, but now I feel like something has happened you know with the scythe here I feel like something has happened with the eight of Pentacles I think that um, definitely there's you know hard work um, that uh, you guys are both doing uh, I feel like um, it's it's like anticipating that final ending and the ending is you know a lot of stability strong foundations feeling complete feeling whole um, so having a partnership that you've worked hard for you know you're confident with yourself because um, you've attained you know wealth and um, you're able to be self-sufficient um, you're able to you know like I said um, indulge a little bit and so I think it's like this person they're feeling like they need to work hard um, they need to have those ten of Pentacles so that you know they can show you that they care because we've got show that you care so I think this person what they're feeling right now is like well maybe they didn't show you enough that they cared maybe you were the one if you're the feminine uh, I, I don't mean anything against that if um, you know I'm focusing on the feminine because that's the most energy that I get from my readings it's 95% female here so I feel like if you're the feminine you were the one that was um, you know sacrificing for this I think that you were the one that um, you were doing what was necessary you were making sacrifices for this connection because you intended for this to work and now that it's it's kind of cut off um, you're having to focus on other things you're having to focus on yourself you're having to focus on um, you know developing your skills talents I feel like um, you know you expect the best and so you want to be the best you know I think that's kind of what you feel is like you got to up your game um, maybe you're worried that this person just didn't see your worth and so you feel like well you know I need to um, show that more and I think the masculine is the one that he's aware that he he hesitated and you know he withdrew and um, I think he's aware of that now he wants to be more caring more compassionate he wants to reach out and be a friend and um, you know help be supportive towards you um, show you that they he, they care about you they support you and without hesitation you know they would be there to help you through any troubles that you're suffering um, to just know that you're not alone and I feel like that's how that person is feeling right now. 
um, they want to give you the good things in life so maybe they just feel like they they have to work harder so that they can show you that they can show you that you know they want movement with you because I feel like if you're the feminine you were the one that was showing that you care you know and I feel like their energy was just not as attentive you know I feel like maybe they were just watching you on social media and you know they need to break that pattern of holding back and to just watching you from afar because it's really they need to be more assertive they need to be more compassionate they need to open up and they could fear that they could fear that you know their hearts gonna get pierced in some way and um, you know I feel like they're they do need to um, let go of any fear and come out of the, the darkness and it's necessary for them to show that they care so I think they're feeling like that's something they want to do but right now with the energy cut off between you they're also focusing on you know abundance prosperity um, being self-sufficient and being able to appreciate the good things in life with you so that's all I have if you pick number one. Hopefully that resonated with you. Um, like I said, you know, it, it, if it doesn't, then I have lots of other readings that you can check out. If you would like a personal reading, then you can shoot me an email, amandarosetarot at hotmail.com, or just simply visit my, my Etsy. Uh, the link is down below. Okay, so moving on to the second reading, this pink flower. So let's see, you know, how is this person feeling right now when you're watching this? Okay, we've got the snake and this is also um, the eight of wands. Yeah. And you've got the pig and this is also the three of swords. You've got the king of wands, so we've got Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. You've got the tower, so more fire energy. And the final card that you got is Nurture All You Love, card number 30. So 30 could be significant for you in some way. It could be a date. It could be anything, really. It could be an age. Okay. So how is this person feeling right now? There's definitely been some sort of breakdown. There's the foundation for this person has really crumbled. So um, I feel like this person, they could be kind of afraid right now. The, the changes that they're going through are quite serious. This person, um, they're not feeling balanced right now. Um, whatever this is it's it's um very challenging for this person you've also got the three of swords so three of swords is about heartache um you know this person's really going through a dark time right now and i think that uh whatever the universe did to this person um you know it's caused this person to feel stuck um they feel like you know they're going through some sort of battle in life right now and that nothing is really going good for them so this person their future uh they feel is not in question um they don't know how to get um back on you know a good path i think that this person they're they're feeling a lot of sorrow loss you know a breakup or some something has happened and this person they're really disappointed and you know they need to see that everything happens for a reason but I think right now they're really not understanding why you know they're having to go through this with the snake also I feel like this person um you know they I feel like there was something that um they felt like it was a wonderful opportunity awaiting them and they they went for it and I feel like whatever that opportunity was um, it's now you know it feels like 
maybe it was wrong to do whatever they did. Like at first, at first it looked really good. Like this snake I see as kind of like temptation, like go ahead, you know, bite this apple. It's, you know, it's what you want. And then this person, they went ahead and they did that. And now it's like they're needing to have a lot of courage because um, it's serious. Whatever they're going through is really serious. And, um, you know, I think this person, they do have kind of an ego. And right now their, their ego has been really knocked down quite a few notches. And they're feeling very small right now. Um, with the pig card, that's about uh, the material world. It's about the body. It's about, you know, our life here before we move on to just being a spirit. So this person, I think they were really caught up in uh, the material world. And um, this person, I think that things are breaking down for this person right now. Um they need to strengthen their beliefs and I think that's what they're going to have to do if they're going to get through this because you know if you can see the way this pig he looks sad yeah so this person I mean if you look at this pig it looks really sad so I feel like this person right now um their ego has, you know, took some sort of hit. I feel like this person, um, as far as they are a very attractive person, they are, you know, um, a person that you see as, you know, very, um, hot, you know, how else can I say it with the King of Wands? I mean, you feel like this person, they're very, um, sexy you like looking at this person but I feel like their confidence has really taken a hit here and they're not feeling you know the love here between you so with nurture all that you love I think that um this person for some reason they feel neglected they feel like um you know you didn't love them or cherish them you didn't give them enough attention and they're feeling really neglected and um you know they really wanted things to grow they wanted things to flourish and as far as you know how they're feeling in this connection this relationship it's like uh this is the end you know this is over um this person you know they really just fear that they are not the person for you that, you know, um, they they feel like you want something different. So I feel like there's been some sort of breakdown here. Um, this person, they're afraid that they are just not good enough for you. And, you know, maybe there's been some lies between you guys as well. I'm not sure if you lied to this person or they lied to you, but I feel like that's also caused this breakdown between you guys so that is how they're feeling right now they're feeling very sad they're feeling like everything is is going down in flames there's some crisis um they had to check their ego you know their ego got knocked down a little bit and um you know they really need guidance that that's what they need right now so um they may reach out to you um but i don't know if, if they're confident enough right now so that's what I'm feeling if you pick number two. Uh, hopefully that resonates. If not, then um, check out one of my other readings or go over to my Etsy and you can purchase a reading. Okay, so if you pick this last, uh, this heart, and it says, I love my mom. Let's see, how are they feeling right now? Okay, you've got the fish, and this is also the four of cups. You've got the bouquet, and this is also the Ten of Cups. You've got the Page of Wands, so it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. You've got the Nine of Pentacles, so it could be Earth sign as well. And you've got See Yourself in Nature, card number 40. So how is this person feeling right now? This person, um, 
this person is feeling a lot of love for you. This person is also feeling a lot of passion for you. This person, um, you know, with the Ten of Cups here, and this is also the bouquet, this person really wants to make these gestures to you to show you that this is something that they want to materialize okay they want this connection with you they think that you guys are really good for each other they think that you know they want to show you so maybe they want to buy you flowers um with the oranges here i, I definitely feel like this person they're going to be coming in they want growth with you they want an opportunity with you pages always kind of bring news in so i feel like this person's going to be bringing in some news for you and with the Four of Cups here, I feel like this person, um, they're really longing for something with you and they're feeling kind of underwater right now with the fish. It's like this person, it's like they need to come up for air. When they're with you, it's very overwhelming. Yes, they enjoy being with you. They're very comfortable when they're around you, but it's like they feel like they're holding their breath the whole time and they do want something with you, but they don't know. They're very tense that will they survive? You know, will they come out okay? Um, they really do see the potential with you. They they see glimpses of what they could have with you and it just it, it amazes them. So they want to make sure that they don't make any missteps, that they don't, you know, do anything that could really um, throw this off. And that's why they're kind of holding their breath, I feel like, in this connection. Because they're so worried that they're going to make a wrong move or a wrong step. With the See Yourself in Nature card, I really see this card as someone who, they're kind of a little bit barbaric, you know. They're kind of a little bit caveman-ish. So they do have a big ego. Um, they could drink too much. They could be a person that, you know, it's hard to take out in public because they just, some of the things that they say, it's like, ooh, I wouldn't want you to say that in front of everybody. So it's like they have to kind of hold their tongue. They have to bite their tongue, hold their breath. And they do want this fresh start with you. They do want to take action with you. They feel like, you know, you are, if you're the feminine with the nine of pentacles, they feel like you are so luxurious you know you have so much um you're a very self-sufficient person you enjoy yourself you take care of yourself maybe you um you you cook you bake um you know you're like the perfect person you would make a perfect wife and they really appreciate you and all of the the beautiful things about you your hair you know your makeup if you wear makeup um, the way you dress, um, they just see you as a very abundant person. Also, you could have this connection with animals, you know, the way she's holding this bird up. Um, you do have this connection with nature because it says see yourself in nature. So I feel like both of you have this connection with nature and you guys have a lot of similarities. But at the same time, this person, they're worried that they could you know, put their foot in their mouth. So they hold their breath whenever they're around you, but they want the opportunity to show you that they want something with you. With the bouquet, it's like, um, you know, I want you to feel that I love you. I want this to be fair, um, you know, but they're still so tense that they're going to do something wrong because maybe that's something that they normally do. You know, they get themselves in, in bad situations. They do things that... Uh, they know are not good. Um, in the long term, I feel like this person, they want to change, you know, they want, they're dedicated to changing themselves, they're committed to changing themselves. They don't want to cause you any pain. Um, they want to be able to relax around you, but they're stressed around you. So maybe they do push you away a little bit, but they're lonely when you're not there. So it's like, stop pushing this person away if you're lonely without them you know you're you're doing the opposite of what you should do stop being a loner and come towards this person you know you, you're attracted to this person you want movement with this person you see them as abundant beautiful um you know a perfect wife mother 
um, whatever. So it's like stop holding your breath and just move forward with this and, you know, make decisions to um, move this forward. Show them that you care. Um, so I feel like that's what they're going to be doing. They know that they have a lot of flaws. They're working on fixing them. They want progress with you. And, you know, it would mean everything to them if they could have you. They would be so disappointed if this didn't work out with you. And I think you like this person as well. I think that you you have a lot of commonalities with this person. Uh, you guys have a lot in common. And um, you see the beauty in this person. You know, they could have very captivating eyes. You know, I always notice in this card, this person's eyes. So it's like, I think you guys notice the beauty in each other and you guys just have so much in common so they really they would be disappointed if this didn't work so I think they they are going to reach out and show you that they care however they can you know so that's all I have for you if you pick number three um, if you like this type of reading please subscribe to my channel please share this and give me a thumbs up and also comment down below let me know I read all of those comments sometimes I reply but I do read all of the comments even if I don't reply so thank you guys so much for doing that thank you for joining my community and hopefully we'll grow and we'll have so many people here and it will just feel good to have these loving people around you all of my subscribers you know they're just such loving people and I feel blessed to have you guys um, around me so thank you guys so much sending you love light and blessings and I will talk to you again very soon bye bye